What's up everybody, it's Seth from Fowler Customs and today we're going to be talking about the brand new Adidas Yeezy 350 V2. So as I said before, this video is about the brand new Yeezy 350 dropping September 24th, which is this upcoming Saturday, for $200. As I'm sure most of you already know, but for those of you that don't, this is the first Adidas Yeezy 350 V2 to drop. Its official colorway is Beluga Solar Red, and what's kind of interesting is that with Nike, Solar Red was the Red Octobers, it was this really deep red sort of color, but for Adidas, as we just saw on the previous NMD drop, Solar Red is more of like an orangey kind of like lighter neon hue. So it's gonna be interesting to see that colorway on this shoe. I have yet to see it in person, as I'm sure most of you haven't seen it in person yet either, but I'm pretty excited for it, to be honest. Obviously, the prime knit pattern has also changed from what it used to be on the Yeezy V1s. On the Yeezy V1s, you had this prime knit sort of static pattern, and on the new colorway, you've got these sort of like ice cream swirls going on, and then that bright orange or solar red stripe going down the side. Also, the shape of the silhouette has changed a lot as well. The ankle area of the shoe has gotten a lot higher and kind of a lot more curved out, kind of flipped out a little bit. You've got some Adidas branding on the inside of the shoe right there. You've got three stripes and then also the back part of the heel instead of sort of coming straight up, it kind of comes up at an angle and forms your foot when you put them on. In addition to the changes in the prime knit, you've also got more boost inside the midsole and the midsole is semi-translucent so you can sort of see through to it. Also, the cutouts in the bottom of the shoe are a little bit different. On the new pair, they're a little bit more of like a grid shape and on this one, obviously, it's a standard Yeezy 350 outsole. There's a couple small changes to the midsole on the medial side of the shoe, but nothing crazy. Overall, the new Yeezy 350 V2 is a shoe that I didn't like at first, but it grew on me, and I'm sure that's true for a lot of you guys too. Obviously, I'm still gonna try and grab it because it's a Yeezy. But on to the main point of this video, how to get the Yeezy 350 V2. I'm sure you've already seen a lot of videos on this, so I'm just gonna cut to the chase. The main thing I wanna tell you guys about this release is that this shoe is not gonna be as limited as the original 350 or any of the previous Yeezy releases. A few people that I know personally that work at brands that'll be stocking this shoe have said that they're already getting three times more Yeezy 350 V2s than they ever did of any other Yeezys. A couple places in the past that haven't gotten Yeezys are getting Yeezys for this release. So that right there already tells you you're going to have a better chance than you did in the past. It's still going to be a really tough cop, but my thought is go out and enter as many raffles as you can. Yes, sometimes they seem a little rigged and sure, sometimes they are rigged, but you know what? You can't win if you don't try. Also, another chance you have is going online on the 24th to Foot Locker, Champs, Foot Action, things like that, all the different online stores. I found that these stores are really difficult to get any kind of Yeezys from. I've never had any success from any of these shoe stores. I'm sure some of you guys have, but for me, it's just been kind of crapshoot. I can't get anything off those sites. The one site that I will say I know a couple people have gotten a lot of success from is Villa, and the reason for that is that I believe they dropped their shoes randomly. One person that I know grabbed their shoes from Villa was Yoanti, and he got lucky because they did a random drop for the 350 Pirate Blacks in the middle of the night, and he just happened to be on their site and grabbed them right when they dropped. So for that reason, it was a lot easier for him to grab them just because no one knew. So I mean, you can get lucky, but those sites for me have never worked out at all. You can also try the Adidas Confirmed app if you live in a zone that actually supports it. The reservations open on Wednesday, September 21st. My first pair of Yeezys that I ever got, which was the 750s when they first dropped February 14th of last year, I got them off the Confirmed app and that was only when it was in New York City, so it was a little bit easier. Now it's all over the country, so good for people outside New York City, not so good for me because it's harder for me. <laughs> However, for me, after that first Yeezy 750 drop, I didn't have any more luck with this app, so I'm gonna try it, but I'm not expecting much success. But the best way I'd say to get Adidas 350 V2s for retail is to go on adidas.com. They drop their shoes randomly, so if you're on there right when they drop, you might get lucky, you might have a good chance to get in there without any problems. They did update their carting system, so now if you actually cart a pair of shoes, you have 10 minutes to check out, so that should actually help some people out a lot. It'll help you guys know when things are in stock, it'll help you if things in your cart, because I know a lot of you guys, and for me in particular, I've gotten a lot of stuff in my cart only to find out that I was cart jacked. So we all know how much that sucks. Overall, there's really no guaranteed way to get Yeezys unless you're backdooring them or you're paying resale, but that's kind of the fun of it. The fun for me of sneaker collecting actually is usually the chase. Like once I have the shoe, it's great, it's fine, I can rock it. I love that part of it obviously, but the chase is really what got me into it in the first place. So I'm excited for this Saturday. Let me know if you guys are excited too. Leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know if you're going for these shoes. Also, if you like my new setup, I'm trying something different. It might not always be this, but it'll be something a variation of this because I bought this new shelf specifically for videos. So this will be here 
no matter what, unless it breaks. So, uh, yeah, leave that comment in the comment section below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to Fowler Customs if you want to see more content just like this. And follow Fowler Customs in all of the forms of social media.